Hey, welcome back to the channel. I have part two of our day at the Electrify Expo here in Austin, Texas at Circuits of America. That's Coda, our Formula One track. And the first video you saw is right out there as joke around showing a little bit of everything was what that first part was about. This one is specifically going to be about the Arcimoto three wheel cycle uh, that's made out of Oregon. Uh, a little bit of ride video, so that's me with the helmet getting some first person uh, view of riding it, and then also a little bit of a walk around, and we talk with the owner, which is super cool, and that was kind of the advantage of us going out here to the expo, is to be able to have that. And look, we got Travis there. He's an actual fan that spotted us at the event, uh, Electrify Expo, so definitely had to give him some shine, something we were not expecting. Well, like I said, uh, we're going to be doing a little bit more. The first one was going to be an overall. And here's some other cycles you'll see soon, like the Onyx and the uh, Super 73 and the Wicked Thumb there. Lots of good ride footage coming soon. Throw mouse moto. Yeah, second episode of the Electrify Expo playlist that I put together. First one, like I said in the intro, just a quick overview. This one, we're going to get down to specifics. And that's that Arcimoto three-wheel cycle. This is electric. That's what this whole expo was about. It was electric vehicles. And to see a uh, three-wheel electric cycle is, is awesome. This is a prototype. We don't get to ride one like this, but you can see it's set up as like a camera dolly. It's got like two GoPro mounts there, which is pretty sweet if you're a moto vlogger. And then the backward seat uh, facing with that a little camera arm there, way too cool. Uh, this reminded me of Cruzy. He was always talking about Inception all the time. It's a phone camera within another camera. So we'll let the man talk. Uh, go ahead and take a seat. All right, so safety first, you gotta uh, right over left seat belt and then a left over right seat belt. Kind of strapped in like a roller coaster, which is good because it can feel like one. Double, double it up. Yeah. <laughs> nice. So this is that crazy. Like I'm gonna do a wheelie when I get on this thing. Yeah, I, I, it says it'll go 75, but I I pushed it past 80 the other day. <laughs> all, right. Um, all right. So right hand on the on the handlebar here. So that's your throttle. Just twist it back to go straight, and then your right finger is a regenerative brake. So that's a way to slow down. Foot brake is to stop. That one will stop you uh, quickly. So slow down, stop, and then your uh, your thumb is currently on the uh, what controls drive. Right now you're in neutral, but if you push to the left, that'll be drive. If you push to the right, that'll be reverse. Okay, I see that. Yeah. And then uh, your left hand controls. Those are your turn signals. The little arrows to the left or right. You'll need that when we jump up on the highway or jump up on the road up here. Um, and uh, pretty much, have you done the course before? No. Okay, well, I'll just show you how we get on there. Um, it's open in the back, and by your knee, there's a control panel. One of them is a P with three blue dots. Mm -hmm. That's your parking brake. If you press that, that'll disengage the parking brake, and we, it might make us want to roll backwards so you can put your foot on the, on the pedal or the, or the brake. Uh, but we might press that. And then the red button up here is your, uh, it's the kill switch. So right now, if you switch it now, now you, the system's engaged and you can, you can put us into drive and we can start rolling around. Uh, drive is the right, the arrow, yeah. Boom. Okay, so you're ready to go. Just throttle, throttle's go, there's no shifting. Okay. And we just go up here to the left, go around these bulbs. And then we're going to take off. So you are in the Arcimoto SUV, which is our fun utility vehicle. We also have the uh, Roadster, which is more of a motorcycle. Is that what that cat was on that was yeah. pulled up? Uh, yeah, I gotta get some footage of that too. Nice. His, his Roadster is funny because it's got a little dog carrier for his dog on the side. We're cutting out right here. Yeah, there's a 
flatbed version. It's more like a truck with a deliverator. It's more like a delivery van. It's all of the same platform. I keep wanting to use the uh, bra uh, the foot brake okay. on it. Yeah, uh, the, yeah the, it's good to be familiar with both of them. The uh, foot brake is definitely like a stop. Yeah, I noticed that with it, yeah. I'll give my full opinion on the experience I had with the Arkhamotos uh, after I do the, the road through here. But I wanted to sh uh, tell you about this part. So I, I rode that cycle and then got out and this one cat behind me, he's like, hey, did you get any footage? I was like, ah, I actually my battery died and stuff. He's like, okay, cool. Hey, I watch all your videos, blah, blah. I was like, you mean like other than like right now? He's like, or whatever Kevin made you? He goes, yeah, no, I, I watch all your videos. My name's Travis, I'm from Kentucky. And I thought it was crazy seeing you guys here. I was like, what? You're an actual fan? That's why we did not expect something like that. So I wanted to put a little bit of that footage in here right now. He knew, he knew who we were. <laughs> yeah, he, he yeah. knew who we were. And where are you from? Lexington, Kentucky. Yeah. And your name? Travis. Travis from Kentucky, and he knew who we were. Isn't that wild? We didn't think that was gonna happen. Very cool, yeah. thank you so much. Are you planning on getting a three wheel? I hope so, this year. <laughs> you said you came from two. I came from two, yep. Okay. So just doing research, watching YouTube stuff, and trying to figure out what you want to get, whether Absolutely. it's a spider or a Riker. Or... That's right. And I kept going back to the Riker because you guys' videos. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, spiders are cool, but you do have to realize they are two totally different things. That's right. And uh, we, we were talking to Stan recently, and he has both now. So he bought a, a, a 900, and then he bought uh, his wife a 900. And then he just bought a F3 okay. Limited, yeah. and he doesn't even know. He's got both of them. He's like, uh, cause you know the whole, you probably heard it before, Riker, you're in it, yep. Spider, you're on it. Yep. So it's kind of like whatever you're trying to do and then the level of comfort at the yeah. same time. Yeah. Well, cool, man. Well, thank I'm you so glad much. we got to see you. Yeah, see you out here, man. Cool. Um, Bob, you sit more like you're, you know, on an upright yeah. scooter. scooter. On the roadster, I mean, you could actually just wherever you want to be on on the bike yep and so when you get and it just stay it stays planted like a brick i mean uh the difference between having dual motor front wheel drive and a battery that's like you know runs underneath is your cg is like right up there mm -hmm. if you've got a rear wheel drive gas bike the cg is higher and further back and so you know it gives it more tip this thing just planted on the road and so you can just be wherever you want to be in the gravity line, mm -hmm. right? But the vehicle stays exactly where you want it. Nice. I'll let you be the judge. You're the. Yeah. You're the, you're the, you're the, you're the yeah. I've ridden some stuff before, but I see you guys got a Corbin seat on there. Yeah. 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 Mike's making all of our seats for the roadsters. Wow. So you're just talking about coming. Actually, Corbin, they did. They also did the design of the, of the tank. So instead of a gas tank, you've got a nice little storage bin. And then on the tail, because it's not carrying the weight of the cage, you can, I mean, you can put whatever you want on the back here. It's like golf club rack, bike rack, uh, you know, at some point we could have another couple of seats or something like that, just to, for a little touring vehicle, but you know, got the dog sidecar. Yeah, I, I saw that on there, dude. So I was like, sidecar, and he's like, it's for the, for the, uh, you can cross, you can do the cross harnessing with a dog harness and you just snap it up there. So he just, he just chilled yeah, right there. Just, you know, head can be in the wind or tucked back in. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'll throw my helmet off. I can really, really yeah, ride cool, it. Nice. Sure. No, like nice. Yeah, you can be in chariot mode. <laughs> That's too cool, dude. So same controls as the ones that we just drove. Nice. You're just in neutral now, no parking brakes. So, oh, uh, sounds good. Give it a lap, see what you think. And uh, the nice thing about having the regen is, so you know, you can have the hydraulics for the foot brake, mm -hmm. but this is this is what you brake. So that's control. why, uh, so that's why this is separate. Uh, so you don't ease this. This is brake is a stop. This one's the ease to slow down. So that's because it's the regen brake. Right. Is why it's separate yep. like that. Okay. So you got pure, you got control mm -hmm. of pure regen, which in practice just ends up being a really nice feeling. Yeah. You're like, I'm not hitting my hydraulics at all with this control. Um, and you get really fine, you know, kind of gradient on, on it when you get the when you get the feel for it. Yeah, I was getting the hang of it by the time we, we loop back around on that. And with this, you've got the ability to, you can sit upright like you are, or you can crouch, or you can, you know, really get into a, a nice tuck. Nice. Okay, cool. I'll get at it. Thank you, sir. 
votes for number one on the production line. Oh no! There we go. <laughs> Electric Corbin seat feels good. I don't hear anything. <laughs> oh man, it was a blast. It's like, uh, first of all, I never thought I'd get anything similar to like a Riker that was electric. So that was a trip already to begin with, especially since like ours is so loud, you know? So it's like just going around it and, uh, and then way more, I mean, nothing against those whatsoever, but of course it's way more fun coming from, you know, where we ride. That's all I was telling. Yeah, it's funny because some people really prefer the FUV. I believe it. They want the slightly more sedentary experience. This one's a very, you know, you're active on it. You're completely in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and the, and you know, the other thing too is that riding on the back of this thing, you can have two big guys ride this comfortably. <laughs> you know? Well, you got those Corbin seats too, man. Those are, uh, with the backrest, so it's like this is like an upgrade. Like so, Corbin, they'll make a seat. They just make one version of like a solo seat. $600 yeah, for uh, for the Riker. So you're saying that these are going to be like a stock thing it's for the Roadster, yeah. For the Roadster. The Roadster is, and again, the Roadster is kind of our premiumization of the platform. Mm -hmm. The same underlying machine in both, uh, but this one's got the you know. Just, smoothly formed, comes with a nice paint job. Yeah, <laughs> and then this was tripping me out too. That's a cool mod. A lot of people, they'll like that on the on the video, dude, I know that. Yeah, she's watching it. She should have brought the dog with it. Yeah. <laughs> so we're kind of conceiving of this as our pure fun project uh, versus the, the fun utility vehicle, which is you know, more of your everyday yeah. type. This one is, although I will say, as we built this, this is my daily driver. I mean, I just <laughs> yeah, dude. take the dog to the dog park. You can actually stack a ton of groceries on the side. Yeah. Um, and so, oh, yeah. Here's an example right here. Look. Here we go. <laughs> he's like, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, yeah. There you go. There you Look. You <laughs> nap time. Uh, that's too cool. And he's got a little window right here. You can see what's going on. Where, where are you out of? Where are you? Uh, uh, where we're you... based in Eugene, Oregon. In Oregon, gotcha. Oh yeah, they told me that. They told me that. The lesser known automotive capital of the world. Is that anywhere? I'm not familiar with Oregon as much. Is that anywhere near the coast, like the Goonies and all that? Uh, it's, it's like maybe an hour from the coast. Oh, so you, you do some riding over there off the coast? Oh, absolutely beautiful. Oh, I heard. Man. Yeah, they, uh, Eugene, Eugene's a great city to ride. Eugene, Portland got nice tight urban growth boundaries and so you know there's just a lot of beautiful space to drive in around this nice but uh yeah just for uh just for zipping around town i mean 
Oh, yeah. Any more fun on the road. It's electric. That's what's too cool, man. And this this job here is this like a wrap or is this paint or? No, this paint. Uh, oh. Iron Man meets black. Iron Man meets And it's like a. Is it like a color or is it just the way that it's painted? It's like a color change type of thing. Yeah, it's it's got, they, they do some really, the kind of custom motorcycle paint guys do some really cool stuff. Uh, a group out of Oregon did it? Yep. Did the paint? Yeah, they're just uh, cutting edge. They're next door neighbors practically. Too cool, man. Well, whenever I, because uh, I know there's a couple other cats that have been wanting me to come down or come up to Oregon and do a ride. If I'm ever in there, I'd have to hit oh, you up. Come check out the factory. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. We'd love to have you. Cool. Big shout out to Arkamoto for taking the time to, to speak with Kevin and I and, and letting us ride those uh, those cycles. Way too cool. Uh, I would say like in my opinion with the experience I had there, it was real wacky riding them because we just came off of riding the Riker. So I'm trying to ride mine uh, like the Riker and it definitely turns differently. Not saying it's, you know, it's bad or good. Uh, I, don't, I don't know uh, because I think it's like what he said about the center of gravity with the batteries. It's totally different. And I definitely felt that when turning. Uh, but then the second time I rode it, like when I rode the Roadster, I got the hang of it like way better. Um, I like that it's electric for sure. And then being quiet was really wild compared to ours. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to Thrill Mouse Moto. I was paid to say this since Barry said he felt kind of weird asking. He also wanted me to say Baja Blast Slams and yeah dog, Thrill Mouse Moto.